Hey guys, welcome to the 132nd C Sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our paint application. And in this tutorial, we're going to basically be drawing images onto our panel using the graphics class. So we're going to basically allow the user to drag images onto our panel, and then when they drag them onto our panel, um, we'll have it draw onto our panel. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is allow drop or set the allow drop property equal to true so that we can accept information um, about the file or the image to be exact that the user drags onto our panel. And then we're going to have to go and create a new event handler for when the user um, drags something onto or over our panel so that we can make it appear as though that they can drop something. So let's go over to the uh, events over here and go over to drag enter and just double click it. All right, and then we're just going to want to set E, which is this data or drag event args. And we're just going to want to set the um, effect equal to uh, drag drop effects dot all. And like I said before, that will basically just um, make it appear as though you can drop something on there. And the next thing that we're going to want to do is create an event handler for when the user actually drops uh, those images onto the panel so that we can draw them. But before we can draw them, we have to get the paths to all of the images that the user drops onto the panel. And we're going to have to store that information into a string array. I'm just going to call it uh, image paths. Oops. And set that equal to E for our uh, drag event args dot data. And then use the get data method to retrieve information about um, the files that the user has dropped onto our panel. And it basically just calls for a string format, and we're going to be using the data formats uh, class to access the uh, file drop format so we don't have to memorize it. And this get data um, method returns an object, so we're going to have to cast that into um, a string array. So we're going to say string array right here, and that will just basically convert this object that the user, or I mean this get data method returns into a string array. So now this image paths variable basically just holds the paths to every image that the user drops onto the panel. And we're basically just going to be looping through all of those paths and drawing those images onto our panel. So we're going to say for each string path in image paths, and then we're just going to draw it onto our panel. So we're going to be using G for our graphics and then use the draw image method to draw the image onto our panel. And the first uh, parameter that this draw image method calls for is an image to draw. And that's just basically going to be the image that the path is to. So we're going to have to be using the image class and use the from file method to get the image from the file or from the path. And now we're just going to pass the path through this uh, from file method to get it. So that would be path. And the next parameter that this draw image method calls for is the point on our panel that we want it to draw. And we're just going to have it draw it on, or at 0, 0. So it'll basically just be in the um, upper left hand corner. So now we need to debug here and drag an image onto our panel. It should draw it at 0, 0, basically just up into this upper left hand corner. So now we just drag this person image on there. And as you can see, it appears as though we can drop it. And when we drop it, it'll just draw it into yep, the upper left-hand corner. And now that it's on our panel, we can use all of our drawing tools that we've created uh, to draw on this image. So we just wanted to let's say draw, I don't know, uh, eyes on this guy. We could do that. Just draw eyes, a mouth, and I don't know, whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, so, see you guys.